Today, my little fragile friends, we are going to do something that I would never encourage you to do in life. But today, in our little cone of silence, in the vault, if you will, we are going to judge. We're going to get judgy. We're going to poke and laugh and giggle and make fun of food ingredients. And I'll tell you why I want you to do that. Because we spend an incredible amount of money putting stuff on it in our cart and then in our mouth. And normally we just rate it by its flavor, but I want you to go beyond that. What I want you to do is think about stuff in terms of its nutritional value, in terms of its shelf life, in terms of its versatility. How does that ingredient play with other ingredients? And lastly, just the plain old gut check BS factor is why you're buying a waste of your good buck. So, there's no judgment in judging today. That makes no sense at all. But that's what we're gonna do. Five things that irritate the crap out of me. Number one, lettuce. 96% water, zero nutritional value, and most of them, in my opinion, have no flavor. I would challenge any of you in a blind taste test to tell one lettuce from the other. Forget about it, save your bucks. Buy spinach, buy watercress, buy arugula. At least you got some nutritional value, and there's some flavor there. Number two on the crap countdown is Angus ground beef. Now. Angus is not a designation of quality, it is a particular breed of cattle. It was developed in Scotland in about the 1870s and then brought to North America at some point. Angus beef is certainly a more marbled meat, but the moment you put any beef or, or any meat through, through a grounding mincer, its marbling factor is now irrelevant. As a matter of fact, when it comes to ground beef, they always add fat separately to kind of tweak and adjust the fat percentage. No human being on earth can tell the difference between ground Angus beef and any other beef. Save your money. Number three on the all crap countdown, mozzarella cheese. Oh my goodness, why hasn't this stuff been arrested and thrown in jail years ago? I don't get it. It is like eating a, pens, a kid's pencil eraser. If you have a craving for a fresh cheese, Go for Beretta, it's a, little, it's a little saltier and it's got a really nice creamy interior. It is mozzarella's bigger, more handsome, richer brother. Forget about mozzarella, go Beretta, please. Number four on the crap countdown, salt grinders. Okay, these things kill me every time. The reason why we put peppercorns in a grinder is because pepper is a spice and spices contain essential oils. When you ground that peppercorn at the table, it releases that essential oil and because you're releasing it then and there, it is fresh, you get more oomph out of it. Salt is a mineral, it is not a spice. Salt has the same flavor enhancing capability whether it was ground 20 years ago or right now over your bowl of pasta. Save your money and save your elbow grease. Finally, number five on the all crap countdown, eggplant. Now, don't get weird and don't hit stop, just hear me out. The thing with eggplant, in my opinion, is that it is the tofu of the vegetable world. Actually, eggplant is a fruit because it's got seeds. You're thinking, I love eggplant, oh, I love moussaka, I love this, that, and the other. Yeah, you, the reason why you love baba ganoush, I'm gonna sneeze, but I'm gonna keep rolling because I want you to hear this. You have to add so much salt and oil to do anything with eggplant that honestly, I sometimes wonder if I put that much salt and oil on a piece of cardboard, would it taste as good? I don't know. Listen, I'm on the fence with eggplant. It's got an interesting texture, so it ticks one of the boxes. It's just one of those things, you gotta bring so much to the party, you're wondering, why am I at the party? That's all I got, guys. Hope you had a good time at Camp Judge. You felt good to judge. It just feels good. These people that say, I don't judge, I don't. You know what we all judge? Let's consider this a therapy session. See you later.